everybody and I want to uh, thank as well the three deuces for the great music see Darren I do listen and I don't know whether that'll stick or not but I'm gonna do my part and uh, I suppose the business manager here will look after licensing and everything um, I'm also happy to hear about the um, plans for the weeks ahead and especially the cookout in a couple weeks. We elders were working with the bureaucracy to do what we have to do, but what we can do. And we really want to get our pastor back in the church because we're very concerned for their safety. And if you were here last week, you saw uh, his near calamity. And um, so now we have ropes up here and we just want to protect him and hope that you guys will be praying for Chase's safety while we continue to meet here at the Triple C at the P. I'm having a blast with these drive-in churches, by the way, so this is fun. And you know, these to-go communion sets have been just the ticket for our drive-in services. Packaged up like this and disposable, plus the reason we're using them right now, might make it easier in this kind of a setting to lose some of the significance of what this part of our service signifies. I hope not. But there are a couple things I've learned through the years that apply to the Lord's Supper, that this kind of setting and this kind of presentation of our communion elements bring to mind. Communion, of course, isn't something that only can happen at church, during church services. Some of the more meaningful times I've had communion have been in other settings like Bible studies or just at home with people important to me. Those of you with families probably know communion is really special to do as a family in your home any time and any day. Now I believe church as God designed it is meant to be a community exercise. That's why we miss seeing each other when we can't gather as a church and why these drive-in services have been so important to those of us who can make it out here. However, I've not found any scripture or canon that says communion can't be celebrated by an individual in a lone setting. I could do this at home by myself with no one but my dog and my cat looking on. We're not alone, of course, because the word itself to tells us that we're communing with God. And the time of communion is designed for us to remember Jesus and his sacrifice for us. I've even heard this idea, although I've not practiced it myself, and the traditionalist in me, would ha I'd have to do some reconciling before I actually did it. But some say it's not so much the bread and the wine, or the juice, that's essential for taking communion, but rather the heart behind it. Cookies and milk, or iced tea and Pop-Tarts, I've heard argued, carry the same meaning for communion as bread and wine, as long as those taking it remember our Savior and the gift of salvation he provides. All that aside, this to-go communion pack with its cellophane, unidentifiable wafer, and lukewarm juice is perfect for us to remember that first communion, the Lord's Supper, in the secluded house somewhere 2,000 years ago. Unleavened bread, fruit of the vine. These made up an ordinary common meal in the first century. But they became extraordinary because they were touched by Jesus. In the same way, we were once ordinary and common, but we've also been touched by the Savior, and so we've become extraordinary as well. Let's go ahead and get our bread out and come together in prayer. Our Father in heaven, 
as we share in this fragment of bread, help us to see it as you see it, extraordinary and uncommon, special and filled with grace. And help us, Father, to see ourselves as you see us by your grace, as extraordinary and uncommon, special and filled with grace. The elements of communion become extraordinary because they received a new purpose from the Messiah. The bread and the wine were given the task of reminding others about who Jesus was and what he did. Just so, we have been given a task too. We are called to tell and show the world who Jesus was and what he did. This is how we are to be true to our new, extraordinary nature. So if you want to get your juice ready and join me in prayer. Our Father in heaven, as we take this fruit of the vine, please help us to recommit ourselves to the purpose you've given us, to share your touch, to truly be the extraordinary, extraordinary people you called us to be, to bring people to you to be made extraordinary by your touch. God bless you all. Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love for us. We thank you for this time of our service and what it means to us, what it meant to you to give us the gift of Jesus and to make the sacrifice necessary that brings us back to you. God, we're so thankful for your grace. We're thankful for the blessings that you give this church. We ask your hand to continue to be on all of our families and our nation as well. We love you, God, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.